My name is Gilbert Tuhabonye, and I was born and raised in a small country of Burundi. My daily routine would be to get up in the morning, go fetch the water, and I would run to school six miles away. When I was a senior, ready to graduate, to go to college, uh, it's hard to think about that time because it puts me in a situation where we are right now with uh, the, the virus. That year, something terrible happened to my life. I was ready to graduate, but instead, instead I spent three months in the hospital. Spending three months in the hospital, just praying to God, trying to heal mental and physically, trying to understand how in the world the people that were my friend want to kill me. It was hard to understand. I started the Gazelle Foundation. What we do is to help bring clean water to the people of Burundi. Now people are washing hands. They kind of wash their hands. They don't have to spend the time to go fetch the water. Uh, also what we do, we don't give water to my tribe. We give water to Hutu, Tutsis, Twa. Everybody deserves a clean water. It just makes your heart beat 10 times faster because it brings so much joy. On behalf of the Gazelle Foundation and the people of Burundi and myself, thank you for coming together for the water. Welcome. Thank you for joining us online, for welcoming us into your lives. My name is Courtney Waldron, and I'm the executive director of the Gazelle Foundation. In this new reality, there are many unknowns, but one thing we know for sure, access to clean water has never been more critical. The basic preventative measures that are keeping families safe and healthy during this pandemic start with access to clean water. Water is critical. Being able to wash hands is the first step to keeping people alive right now. As we distance ourselves physically, it is essential that we do not distance our hearts and minds from the most vulnerable in our world. Our current goal remains the same, to strive to build two more water systems and provide clean water to 4,000 people in Burundi. Our major fundraising event, Spring for the Water, has been postponed until 2021. The first project started in 2020 is now complete. And we're thrilled with this, but we need to do more. We will not be able to move forward on our next two water systems without additional support. We need your help right now to keep those water projects on track. We are asking you to be bold and to be generous. We cannot do this without you. And for the children of Burundi, time is of the essence.
when a water shows up, when a water really comes up in the neighborhood, uh, people, they are beyond words to thank us to what we've done to their life because they know how important it is. They know how life has been touched and transformed. The women and the children are the ones fetching water. When you have a water close to home and it's clean, um, it makes a huge difference. You will see the transformation of the whole village. And, and, and really, that's what the Gazera Foundation is doing. It is bringing the, uh, hope to the people. The Gazette Foundation has been working in this uh, area for quite long. Uh, we started in 2008. The whole area in front of us, those people are drinking clean water and thanks to the Gazette Foundation. It's great to see how things is coming to life. It's really amazing. Uh, we're, very, we're very happy to come out here and see what they do. It's something really beyond the comprehension. It just brings such a joy. With your help, we, over the last number of years, have been able to build clean water systems that serve over 100,000 people with daily access to clean water. We've done well over 50 projects at this point and our numbers continue to grow. Now we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, 100,000 people is a lot of people. It's, it's a great number, it's, an, it's a goal that we strive for. But the reality is, is there are more than two million people that need access to water on a daily basis that simply don't ha have it today. We have data that's come back from the water projects that show that there is one child per month per project that is not dying due to waterborne disease. And this is because of you. This is because you have supported the Gazelle Foundation. Every single person that we can help is one more person who has a better chance at a better life. Life has been tough and really tough for a number of us right now. Our, our lives have changed on a daily basis, but some of you are still able to help make change. And for those of you are, who are, we're still looking for your help. We can't do what we do without you. We talk about what we've done and what we've done for people in Burundi, but really what it is, it's what you've done. You are the fundamental change agents for bringing clean water to people in Burundi. And if you're able, we still need your help. We've got a, a great um, symbol in, in Gilbert and what he represents to people. And I will tell you this as, as someone who sees this guy on a, on a regular basis and knows him really well. His appreciation for what you do is unbounded. He knows, well, he gets a lot of credit and claim for and acclaim for what we do at the foundation, knows that it's all 100% because of the people who help us and make what we're trying to do a reality. So thank you very much. Thank you for helping us change the world. And thank you for doing whatever you can here through this event and in the future to help us out with the Gazelle Foundation so we can change lives in Burundi. Water is the number one issue in Africa. There's a water everywhere, but it's not clean. The difference we're making 
to bring clean water close to homes, um, it, it's really huge. And so when I see people like that getting involved, um, it just validated what we do. It's always, it's always beautiful to see like a young people uh, getting a passion, passion about making a difference. These kids are like Austin High, where they did a work, they never been to Burundi. They probably, the only connection they have is me. It just brings tears, tears of joy to see the community of Austin, the people in Austin and beyond supporting us. Gilbert to me is the living, walking, talking, running symbol of what humans can be. We got involved with the Gazelle Foundation back in 2007. I signed up as a runner for the Gazelles. I wasn't a runner, but wanted to become one. Met Gilbert at the same time we had started a small school and invited Gilbert to come share his story with our students. Gilbert met them and taught them how to carry the water because it's, it's harder than you would imagine and he taught them how they carried on their heads. As the walk went on and their muscles got sore, um, they finished different people than they started. When you see the videos and the smiles on people's faces and you realize that there's really few things in life as precious as water. So one of the things we love about the Gazelle Foundation is it's just not talk, uh, it's actually about getting something done. And there are few things in the world you can do more important than bring clean water to people. It's, it's just a life-changing experience. You see it in every face, every time, in every Gazelle project. Turning on the faucet and having clean water is a pure gift and we take it so for granted. Yeah, because in many ways, hope's as important as water. Absolutely, he brings both. He brings both. It's hope and water. Giving is the most rewarding thing you can do with your life. It doesn't matter the amount, and it doesn't matter if it's being a volunteer or giving $25, but giving makes you a part of a movement. And I think the Gazelle Foundation is actually a movement. It's people really caring for other people. Yeah, sometimes it's very, um, it's very hard when you donate money to see where the money's going. Uh, times like now, it is really critical uh, when the government, when the World Health Organization, where everybody has been told to wash your hands, but the, and yet there's no place to be able to wash your hands. It does not take a lot to help someone get a clean water. Um, it takes almost 25 to $30 to make a difference, to provide a clean water close to families um, back in Burundi. It is important. We can't forget these people. Yes, 
And yes, we have hit by this coronavirus. It's hitting all over. But what do you do to bring hope, uh, to bring light to these people? Um, it's really, really valuable. Please consider um, keeping supporting because uh, these people, tomorrow, they will need your help. On behalf of the Gazelle Foundation and on behalf of my family, also on a personal note, I just want to thank you. The people that you helped, they appreciate what you've done to provide a clean water close to home. They can wash their hands. As they're cleaning their hands and washing their hands, they're thinking about you, the impact you made in their life. And there's one word, thank you. Like they say in Kirundi, Murakoze Chane, which means thank you very much. This is also um, a calling to action. We still need you. The work of the Gazelle Foundation is so important. The dollars you give directly impact the work that's being done on the ground in Burundi. It works. We have given more than 100,000 people getting clean water. That is huge, my friend. What you have done to support the Gazelle Foundation, right now, your money you gave, look what it's doing now. You are a game changer. You are making a huge difference in the lives of the people of Burundi. Thank you for helping us change the world and thank you for doing whatever you can here through this event and in the future to help us out with the Gazelle Foundation so we can change lives. Thank you for not only believing in a world where everybody has access to clean water, but for being the kind of people that take action to make it happen. Thank you for coming together to give the gift of clean water.